Hi guys, so today I will show you how to under warranty of graphic card called a GTX 1060 Ti. So before we begin, please like the video and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. So let's continue. First of all, you need a GPU benchmark software and a GPU overclocking software. For that, I am using Valley benchmark and for a GB overclocking, I am using after, MSI Afterburner. To download those, just go to Chrome and type Valley Benchmark. Then you will have to click on the first link you get. Then click on free download. That's it. Then when it comes to overclocking utility, I am using MSI Afterburner. Then click on to burner, download, burner. that's it. Then save it, you will get the software. So after downloading both the softwares, open MS Afterburner. Yes. Then go to settings. Here you have to click on these three check marks and apply. Then the change you have to click on yes. This will reset the software. Now you have to go to your benchmark. So let's start by opening a valley benchmark and you should be running this benchmark in the background so that you can figure out when the undervoting that you are doing is unstable or cautious crash uh, causes crashes. Now go to settings and click uh, remove the click from full screen to windows mode so that you can minimize and access MS afterburner or a GPU overclock utility. Now bring it down so that the benchmark is barely visible or you can see it. Now open your GP overclocking utility then yes. Now click on cover editor. Now you should reduce about to minus 200 from core clock MHZ. After reducing the core clock, you can see here that the core 1845 MHz, it is using around 1000 millivolt to maintain those kind of clocks. So now we are going to underclock it so that it uses around 900 millivolts to achieve the same or higher core clock. As you can see, from 900 millivolts, I will be increasing the core clock to 1875. Then apply. You have to do it multiple times because sometimes the thing that you are doing will not be applied. So I will do it again and bring it to 1875. Okay. Clock speed is 1875 for 900 millivolt. As you can see, previously it was using 1000 millivolts plus to achieve. 18352 1850 megahertz. Now it is doing a much higher core clock for much lesser power. And you can also increase the memory clock. I can increase it up to 1000 megahertz. So I was able to increase the memory clock to plus 1000 megahertz. So as you can see, I have I was able to obtain a much more clock speed for much lesser power consumption and this undervolting is very stable for my system and you can also use it on the other GTX 1060 Ti's if it doesn't work just do, uh, do some minute changes with this settings you will be able to 
reach the same settings or be able to even reach higher settings or you might be able to reach the lower settings De depending upon the quality of a silicon you will do good with this then you also have to save your settings to do that click on save then click on this any number you want now the setting is saved so if you make any changes in the future and uh, you want to revert back to the original uh, settings you can just click on this and you will be reverting back to the previous uh, overclocking settings for example i will reset it now now click on one as you can see the overclocking is will be automatically applied then you can lock this uh, if you don't want anyone uh, messing with this uh, and lastly an important changes you have to make is go to settings then here you have to here you should check on start with the windows and start minimized this will make sure that your under vaulting is applied on the startup of the computer otherwise you have to manually open the mesh afterburner to apply this settings apply okay so that's all about this and if you like the video please like the video and if you have any questions please leave a comment below please subscribe the channel thank you